Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Anthony Gamer here, and we're back. More Walking Dead and New Frontier, episode one. Uh, it was going down last episode, left you with a nice little cliffhanger. So, let's go ahead and hop back into it. Tell me when it reaches the campfire. Man, I don't think I've seen this many. It's definitely growing. Yeah, not a great sign. Damn it, I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on, we should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. It looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. Makes it feel like we're in control. We should keep moving. It worked for us so far. As long as we stay supplied, we're fine. Yeah, maybe you're right. The van isn't so bad. We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. You really think we should be smoking now? Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. You want some? Nah, no thanks. Yo, we're smoking One of us be boy. Super. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> you guys lungs. Oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> He was reassuring, but yeah, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> I suppose it did. Do you miss him? I think about that a lot. Honestly, I'm not sure. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... Oh, I don't know. Some days I just want to leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus. Obviously. Gabe's been emotional lately. I'm sure he's just, you know, going through a phase. Emotional? <laughs> right. That's cute. Look, I love these kids. But I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. Nah, he's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. The second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. What are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> Christ, I need to get laid. <laughs> I realize that 
that was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. Come on, Kate. You know we can't do that. Who said I meant with you? Hmm. What's that smell? That's gross. Hey, Mariana. Shouldn't you be, uh, sleeping or something? I already know you guys do drugs. That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Ugh. Oh my god. You're even smoking in the car now? All right. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. We're about to make a supply stop. You praying for our safety, Mari? I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar. Need, Mariana, not want. Pretty much everything. If it looks useful, let's use it. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. <gasps> Where are you going? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Oh, Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. It doesn't matter what it's about. Well, that makes two of us. But we're stuck with him, so... At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but... The batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. It's easier to stay out of it that way. <laughs> you... You sneaky little... <laughs> That's smart. That's pretty smart. Be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you can find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Good girl. All right. So, yeah, they was, uh... <clears throat> They were in the car smoking that Reggie. That's kind of crazy. Waste oil. In front of the no kids like us. that. But hey. And we got our first uh we got our first zombie killing of the walkthrough. That's pretty That's a historic landmark. I can't even think of the word. How do I look at these plate? There we that go. That could hold a lot of gas. 
Could be really handy if we stayed for a while. All right. Who we got here? Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and check this out. Once this in. car made someone very happy. Now it sits here, rotting away. Así es la vida. Let's go ahead and siphon this one, get some gas out of it. Let's try that again. <laughs> uh, not much, but every bit helps. I mean, that looked real easy. Look at him, he's just up there chilling, not doing nothing. I wouldn't not have helping minded having nobody. one of these back in the day. <laughs> Gonna make that man come down here and do something. Come to Papa. Barely anything. I'll need to find more. Go ahead and talk to him and see what he's doing. What's going on in there, buddy? I'm in a bad mood, okay? I want it to go away, but it won't. I just wish we weren't always on the road. I like being with other people. It's just we're in that car for so damn long. The AC hasn't worked in ages, and then it ain't my last damn tape. But we still got each other. It's better than nothing, right? I don't know. Maybe just leave me alone. Okay. But if you want to talk later, I'm... around. Alright, so we're not gonna talk to him. <laughs> this one looks promising. That man over there and his feelings. Bingo. Ugh, I don't think these tires would fit the van. I kind of feel like something's about to go down. I can feel it. Some sort of fuel tank. <clears throat> Too risky to search up there. Doesn't look stable. So it's alive then. Looks like there's more to see up here. Let's stay. Let's stay. I don't feel <laughs> I don't feel right about that. That's kinda uh Like something is about to go down if I went up there. Tires, paint cans, old newspaper. <sighs> All that's left in this junkyard is junk. Didn't look up there that last time. Acetylene, handy for welding, but not much else. We've looked at all these places. What do we got left? Check over here. Oh, you find anything? I can't stop thinking about that herd. We get caught in it, and and that's it. Peace, asshole. Can't charm your way out of that one. We'd be gone in seconds. 
You're right. We'd be totally fucked. No doubt about it. There's gonna be a last one, you know? A last tank of gas. Last piece of food. What if this place is empty? And, and the next? And the next? We're not gonna let that happen. Okay? Okay. I let it have its five minutes. I'm good. Watching The Walking Dead and all these zombie movies, I do constantly think about what if there was a zombie apocalypse? Like, would I be able to survive and what would I do? Like, I kind of feel like I watch enough movies and shows to maybe know, like, some of the basics of what oh, to do. That's gross. Then again, you never know how be in, you know, in real life. I mean, I, I think I could last a okay. few days. You know? Now I'm sorry I did that. It's just, I don't know. In the comments, let me know what would be the Most first the thing you would do in a zombie out. apocalypse. Seats are gone. And how long do you think you would last dead. in a zombie apocalypse? Let's get a little conversation going. Just rotting bits of old rubber and tires. Anything else to look at over here? Anything? Nothing good left. Someone picked it clean. Anything over here? Nope. Looks like we're going to go talk to her. I think we're Gucci. Hey. Can I talk? There we go. Any luck, kiddo? I need a pen. Or a pencil. Just something to write with. A pen? Why are you looking for that? There's just something I really want. I really need to do. And I need a pen for it. Last night I was thinking about this stupid story my mom used to tell me all the time before bed. I used to hate it. But... <laughs> but then I realized... I don't remember the ending. It was this goofy ending she thought was so funny and I thought was so dumb. I want to write down everything I can remember about everything. Because if I forget, and they're all gone, I'm kind of gone too. At least a little bit. I just think that might be kind of important. Maybe. We came here for supplies. That's it. Come on, kiddo. You know the drill by now. <sighs> okay. In a minute. hate to be like that but <laughs> she kind of needs supplies more than she needs to do whatever she's doing i'm not sure what else there is to do right now um i'm pretty sure i've looked at everything i guess i have to go back to the ladder that's what i'm guessing i don't see anywhere else to go Nothing over here. Checked over there. Oh, wait a second. Maybe. Yeah, we checked over here. Talk to him. We got that truck over there. Yeah, it's looking like we're going to have to climb this ladder. See what's over here. Any luck? Some. There we go. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe, stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. Look, there's one they never took to pieces. Good catch.
feel like there's about to be a dead body in the back. <laughs> I really do. Shit. It's locked. All right. Here goes I should have looked in it first. Oh, Fuck yeah. I was I thought I was tapping A. Just holding A and then down. This is tapping A, okay. Look at all that fuel. This is gonna take a while. It had some gas. Go ahead and look around here while that oh, gas shit. is. Uh oh. There we go. Hmm. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe. Stay close. Yeah, so let's go look where it came from. That's smart. Maybe it was smart. Might be able to get in through the hatch. <laughs> Looks pretty run down. Should we go in? Fuck it. You Locked. only live once. Okay, never mind. Oh, wait, you gotta pry it. I accidentally hit B. Go back over here. Not gonna be able to pry this open. I guess Damn not. It. Um how do we get in? Let's see what's over here. Oh, we go in from underneath. Okay. Why not? This isn't suspicious at all. Somebody's already living. Come here. check this out. Not the cleanest place. Oh, no more those at least. Let's just be careful. Let's see what we can find in here. Got some batteries. Let's go ahead and take those. What else do we have? A bunch of supplies. Our food. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Where did she come from? Oh, check it out. This is actual honest to God pudding. Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress. There's blankets. Someone else's mattress. Someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. This place does have a funny feeling about it. 
And if Muertos were to somehow surround us... Great. Now I'm officially creeped out. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it, before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? Javi, can this is we? This a very tough we decision. stretch out, decision. sleep well for once. Okay, you know what? We're going to end this episode here. Tell me in the comments, should I stay or should I go? Because that's a very big decision right there. Some crap could go down or we could just leave, take what we got and leave. So let me know in the comments what you think I should do. As always, folks, like, comment, and subscribe for more Walking Dead, A New Frontier.